Hi there, today I'm going to show you how you can restore these old vintage G-clamps and make them look like new. So those two I've done probably about a year or two ago and today I'll show you how we can restore these to the same condition. So a bit of history for you, Dawn Australia, these were made post the World War II era. Um, this particular one's a 3 inch version and it's a later one because it had the Australia either cast or forged into it. So the, they're quite um, difficult to manoeuvre but that's right, we'll fix that up. And the, old, the older one, which is this, is a 4 inch, it's very hard to move. And it's had um, better days, so this one is actually a, probably made in the 40s or 50s. The other one a lot later. So that's the same model behind it. So we'll show you how to bring it back to new. So the tools that you'll need are a drill, some wire brush attachments, or you can use an angle grinder, some spray paint which we'll use at the end, some dirty rags, masking tape and some mineral turpentine. Alright so to start we'll just give these a quick clean, some more turps. So I've set up the G clamp now in the vise and I'm going to use the drill to wire brush it clean and we'll do that for the second G clamp as well. Now usually I use this attachment but you can also use this one. So for different spots this one might be a bit more useful. So that's the end result of all our wire brushing. What we'll do is we'll just give it a good once over with the hand wire brush. And then we'll just get some mineral turps and just give it a good clean. So you can see there's a big difference to what it was and this um, swivel now moves a lot easier. You can start to see some of the bare metal and even some of the original markings. So there you go. So that's one and one more to go. So 
So here we have both G clamps after wire brushing. You see they've come up quite nice and clean compared to what they were. So that surface is pretty good to paint on. So good idea to give it some mineral terps, let it dry and then apply your first coat. So the paints I'll be using is this White Knight Rust Guard um, top coat epoxy enamel, flame red, to try and match the original colour. The beauty with this paint is it's a one step no primer, so you can apply straight to bare metal. Uh, good product, a bit expensive, but well worth the money. So here I'm just going to tape up all the surfaces that I don't want painted. So things like this all thread and this handle. So both of those clamps now are taped up and ready to paint. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours since we gave the first coat, so now we're going to give them a second coat. Okay, now we're going to give them the third and final coat. So this is the end result of the painting, and I've just taken the tape off um, to reveal the all thread. And the last step is we'll just get some WD-40 and just spray the all thread just so it doesn't uh, rust. So there you go, that's how you restore a G-clamp back to its original condition. Thanks for watching.